Today, we're going to be taking a look at how we can calculate different types of quantiles, those being quartiles, deciles, and percentiles in Python through both NumPy as well as Pandas. But before we do jump into the coding side of things, I want to go over a little bit more information about each of these three different types of data points. So let's do that. All right, so as promised, before we jump into some coding, let's take a look at quantiles. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to be covering uh, what a quartile is, a decile, and also a percentile. So you can think of quantiles as values that divide a data set into different intervals or groups. Uh, the three terms I mentioned are typically used. And a really good example of one of these is a median. Uh, you'll either see this represented as a 0.5 or a percent. I'm going to be using percent in this video, so um, you'll see that throughout. But regardless, a median can be both, a, or not even both, but it can be a quartile, decile, and also a percentile. Now, here's how you can kind of define these. So a quartile is when you divide a data set into four parts. You'll see these uh, marked up as Q1, Q2, and Q3. Uh, so 25%, 50, and 75%, right? Quarters. And what's interesting is that middle 25 through 75 is considered the interquartile range. Not going to cover that too much in this video. Probably will make another one, um, but just some good information. Now, now your decile, this is when you divide data set into 10 equal parts. Now, I'm not going to put all these different parts down below, but you can see 10% is D1. Then you go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way through 90. So uh, just D next to that percentage, right? And then a percentile is when you divide your data set into 100 equal parts. So for example, 1% uh, would be P1, whereas 50%, the median would be P50. So let's take a look at some examples. Uh, this was a bunch of numbers that I randomly generated. So let's take a look at how we can do these quartile calculations. So the first quartile Q1 is 23.5. So 25% of the data is below 23.5. The median, which is our second quartile was 57. So 50% 50 of the data is below 57. And then third Q3 is 84. So 75% of the data falls below 84. Now on the decile side of things, the second decile, uh, 21.8. So 20% of the data falls below 21.8. The fifth D5 is 57, which is our median again, right? You can see Q2 and D5 are the same. And then our eighth decile, which is D8 is 87.2. 80% of the values are below 87. All right. And now let's look at percentile. So three calculations here, 13th percentile P13, 17.82. So 13% of the data falls below 17.2. The 50th percentile is 57, which is our median calculation, right? Fifth decile and second quartile. And lastly, our 77th percentile P77 is 85.82. So 77% of the data falls below 85.82. So now that you have a basic understanding of how percentile, decile, and quartile work, let's take a look at some examples in Python. All right, so let's import itself first. So import numpy as np and then import pandas as pd run this and uh, we should be get going so first thing we're going to look at is example one quartiles in numpy and actually before we start that example let's create a list we'll say data equals and i'm just going to copy over the list i already generated over here and these are all just random numbers that are already populated but uh Feel free to spam your keyboard and put whatever numbers you want. I, you don't need to copy exactly. So, okay. Now let's take a look at our quartiles example. So what I'm going to do is we'll say Q1 equals, and then you can do NP dot percentile like that data, and then specify what we want. Well, quartiles are 25, 50, and 75. So Q1, Q2, and Q3, just modify the code a little bit. So Q2, Q3 then make this 50, and then make this 75 over here. And we have those. And if you wanted to take a look at what this looks like, right, you can just print over here Q1, and it's 12.25. If we wanted to print Q2, right, it's going to be 25.5. Now, now let's take a look at deciles. So example two, example two, numpy deciles. And it's gonna be nearly identical. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this code, all right? And let's say we're gonna do D1 and then we'll do like D9. 
Then all you have to do over here is still using percentile, right? This changes up to 10 and also 90. And run that. And if we wanted to print these out, print print out D1. You can see 10.6, and I can print out D9 over here too. And uh you should probably have an understanding of how now percentiles work, but we'll just print this out over here. So example three numpy percentiles. And this is gonna be super easy, right? So let's just copy this over here and we'll say P11 and we'll grab P53. And just change this to 11 and change that to 53. Run it and then print, put P11 here and check it out, 10.96. And if you wanted to get P53, same thing, right? Throw this over here, 29.5. So now let's take a look at how we can use a data frame. So we'll go over here, example four, we'll say pandas data frame, data frame, and we'll start off with quartiles. Okay, so now let's take a look at building out a pandas data frame and uh, doing the calculations. So pd.data frame, and all we have to do on here is we're gonna pass in a dictionary. I'm gonna use the same list as earlier. So we're just gonna say like column A, and then I'm just gonna go up here and I'm just gonna grab that list. And uh, there we go. So we have our data frame now. And if I go over here to df.head, just to make sure this is working properly, right? You can see A, 13, 74, 11, 12, 56. So great, we have that working properly. So what we can do is let's start off with some of our quartiles. So we'll say Q1, equals df, then grab the column we're taking a look at. In this case, we only have one column, which is a, and then just put over here dot quantile like this, and then put in what you want. So I'm gonna put in 0 0.25, and you can just replicate this for five and uh, seven five. So go over here to 0 0.5, and also 0 0.75. And just change the verbiage, or the variable name, I should say, more specifically. Q1, Q2, Q3. And then if you want to see what this looks like, you can print out Q1 over here and you can see it is 12.25. Same thing if you want to look at deciles. So this is going to be example five over here. Oops. There we go. Uh, example five, and then we'll say deciles. All we got to do, and I'm not going to do all these again, but we'll grab two of these and we'll say 0 0.1 and 0 0.9, D1 and also D9. Right, and then just print this out. Print D1, right, 10.6. And if I'm gonna print out D9, and we'll do percentile, and then I'll show you a pretty cool shortcut if you wanna calculate multiple at one time. So. All right, now let's just take a look at our last example. And we'll say percentiles. And again, nothing really too crazy over here. Still keep your quantile. And we'll say like P17, right? 17 over here. And then we'll do uh, P91. And just make this to 91 over there. Run this code. And then if you wanted to print it out, we'll just print out the first one. And that should be example six, not example five. And you can take a look, 11.53. So let me show you guys kind of a shortcut on pandas if you wanna get multiple uh, quantile calculations at once. So we'll say example seven, a pandas shortcut. And all we wanna do on here is we'll say quantiles or quantile calc equals and then we'll just go to data frame again so df we have column a that quantile and then what we're going to do in here is we're going to pass in a list of the quantiles we want so i'm going to do the most common one 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 feel free to use whatever you want and 0 0.75 like that great and then all we have to do is now go over here and we're going to say prints and just print out this quantile calcs and check this out. 
So 0 0.25, 12.25, 0 0.5, 25.5, and 0 0.75, 55.75. So just to go over this code again, if you're using NumPyo, you're gonna have to use percentile over here. Whereas if you use pandas, right, you're gonna have to use quantile. Uh, on panda side of things, make sure to specify what column because you can calculate multiple columns. Uh, so in this case, we only had a one column data frame and that's why I just called A. But if you have more columns, right, make sure to specify that as well. And honestly, between quartile, decile, and percentile, they're, they're identical. You just gotta change the number over here and make sure to uh, label your variable correctly, right? So if we go back to what we talked about, right? If we go to quartiles, make sure you use Q. If you use decentiles, make sure you use D. And if you use a percentile, make sure to use P. And also in pandas, you can calculate multiple at one time. Just pass in this list of the different numbers that you're taking a look at. And just like that, you are done. Hope you guys found a ton of value in this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading about three data science videos every single week. One of my goals is to hit 100,000 subscribers next year. So a lot of work to do on that side of things. Now, if you want to continue to learn more about statistics and how you can apply it to data science, I have some videos down below in a playlist right